Welcome to the fight for my life. What's going on, man? Welcome to another episode of the fight for my life. Before we go any further, make sure you stop what you're doing and subscribe. Down below, man, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell so you can get notification as soon as my videos drop. What's going on, man? Welcome to another episode of The Fight For My Life. Um, for those of you that's your first time tuning in, The Fight For My Life is basically my journey back to good health. So this week, I'm doing my workouts that I do three times a week walking, so we're going to go into that clip. I'm also giving you an insight of me taking my blood pressure. All right, so let's go to the clip of me walking right now. When I'm doing my walks, I have these uphill battles that I'm facing. But, you know, the number one goal when I'm walking is always to finish. So let's make sure I finish. Let's see what happens. Oh man, I got my shake. Got to get ready to get it down again. Hopefully you have a good day. My body feel better. It's the um, smoothie I made today. Trying to get some energy. It tastes even better the next day. What's going on, y'all, man? Again, we back, man. It's the fight for my life, man. You know what this means? I got my headphones and my hoodie on, man. I mean, it's time to work. So, uh, hopefully, you know, I don't feel as much pain as I felt yesterday or the last time that I did this, um, that I worked out. You know, I feel real motivated today, and I'm just ready to get, get my goal. I'm ready to obtain this goal, and y'all come along with me, and let's see how I do. I got my Fitbit ready. See that? I like that. See that? I got my Fitbit ready. I got my Nike app ready. Let's go make this go. So, today is a little better. A little better today. Um, I don't have the pain in my ankles like I had the other day. But, um, today is way better. I feel a little bit more motivated. I'm actually finna exceed my personal goal. I'm actually finna exceed my personal goal. And um, uh, it's just, uh, I gotta keep doing it because I know I'm far from where I wanna be. And, um, but this is a good start. I'm glad I feel different today. And I'm just ready. I'm ready to keep it going. So, uh, see you at the finish line, man. See you at the finish line. So, so um, I'm about two miles, and uh, everything is really hurting. My back is starting to hurt for me not walking. My lower back and my thighs are hurting, my hamstrings, but I'm not gonna keep going. I gotta push it through this pain. I went a little further today. So I'm actually on my way back home. And sometimes, man, you just gotta be able to push. Um, that pain is just a sign that your body ain't used to. But you gotta be able to push through that pain. You got a goal in hand, let's get this goal. You gotta lose this weight. I'm fighting for my life right now. I can't let this back pain, uh, some ankle pain, some hamstring pain stop me. I ain't dead yet. Let's get it. Yo, so what's going on, man? I ended the workout. I ended up exceeding uh, my personal goal with the set um, at one and a half miles. I ended up exceeding that, so I pushed through it. So, you know, this is just a testament to, you know, how bad I really want to get to where I need to be. And for everybody out there, you know, it's about being consistent. You know, this is part of getting back to where you need to be is working out. And um, it was better than before. And as you start working out more, your body is going to feel different. So, you know, I'm actually proud of myself. I hope you're proud of me too. But um, this is the fight for my life. And um, this is what it's about. And we're going to keep going. And we're going to keep fighting. See you next time. 
fight for my life. Alright, so it happened, I finished. Okay, so um the that walk, you know, as I keep walking, the walks are getting better for me. But I'm still in a little bit of pain, but but that's all that's only because I haven't been doing it. But, but I know it's gonna be beneficial to me the more I walk. So, you know, that's one of my goals that I got at hand to keep that up and be consistent with that walking. Now I take my blood pressure on a regular basis at home um two to three times a day. So let's go into a video of me taking my blood pressure. Let's see what the results was. Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, how y'all doing, man? I'm sorry, listen, excuse the roughness. I know I look like a lumberjack right now, but hey. Bruh. Oh, no. You know, I'm in grind mode, man, so that's just what it is, man. So I'm okay with it, so hopefully you're cool with it, all right? So, but before we get started, man, again, this is the fight for my life. You know, this is my journey back to good health. Part of my journey is, you know, doing things outside of working out and things like that. Blood pressure. Big part of me getting back to good health. Blood pressure. And I have to maintain it. I have to take it serious. My blood pressure is key to me living longer. My blood pressure is key to the help that this machine in here is getting. And that's my heart. My blood pressure is elevated, not controlled. It's, it's not going to be good for this guy. You know, on top of me needing to lose weight and things like that, <laughs> I got to maintain my blood pressure to keep this guy happy with me. The goal is to get off all these medications. In order for me to do that, I have to have a good history of me just maintaining my blood pressure to where my doctor got enough confidence in me to get me off these meds. So, Part of what I do at home is monitor my blood pressure to do it two times or three times a day. When I wake up in the morning and before I go to sleep. So if I wake up in the morning and I'm not feeling good or something, I have that's my body telling me. I, I just have that symptom know that I think something's wrong with my blood pressure. So I would, you know, put the blood pressure cuff on. The blood pressure cuff I got today is the uh it's the color doctor blood pressure monitor. Yeah, um I seen some at at Target for $19.99. Um, the cool thing about monitor is, of course, it goes around your wrist, whichever wrist you desire, um, and it has the color codes, you know, that, that aids you in, in you recognizing if your blood pressure is elevated or where it's supposed to be. So, of course, you see the colors. The colors um, start from green, which is good, all the way to red, which is there's a problem. And what happens, the whole screen will light up. The whole screen will light up and let you know, hey, um, your blood pressure is too high. It allows you to be more alert with the whole screen light. So we, what we're going to do right now is I'm going to take my blood pressure right now and see what it is. So you just, and it got the Velcro straps. It don't matter which wrist you choose. I usually use my right wrist because I get a better reading from my right wrist rather than my left wrist. So I just use my right wrist on it. Make sure it's secure. Turn it on. Make sure that my wrist is elevated above my heart. They gave me a reading of, as you can see, 163 over 100. And it's obviously in the red, that's too high. So my blood pressure is too high. And I know that my blood pressure is kind of high because I've been, you know, having random headaches. So, you know, the numbers don't lie. <laughs> One sixty three over one hundred three. I can't go nowhere with a blood pressure reading like that. So I know the minute I seen that that reading, I, I I immediately thought of everything that I did throughout that day because I can't survive with a reading of one sixty three over one hundred three. This is what I'm trying to get away from. Sometimes I need help to understand how important it is to maintain my blood pressure. Let me get my my certified nurse. Nurse Molly to help me realize how much trouble am I in if I continue to have blood pressure readings 163 over 103. Hello, I'm Nurse Molly. We will be discussing high blood pressure today. High blood pressure is when your blood pressure 
the force of blood flowing through your blood vessels, mainly in your arteries, is consistently too high. The arteries carry oxygen to all your organs so that you can live. So think of the arteries as a water hose. When the pressure is good, then the water or oxygen can flow. When the pressure is high, just like a pinch water hose, the water or oxygen cannot get through. That would mean your organs cannot get the oxygen you need to survive. High blood pressure is one of the most prevalent health conditions facing Americans. The damage from high blood pressure happens over time. In fact, nearly 50% of adults Americans over 25 years of age or one in every three U.S. adults have high blood pressure and nearly 20% don't know they have it. Less than half of people with high blood pressure have their conditions under control. High blood pressure contributes to nearly 1,000 deaths a day. And we know 69% of people with first-time heart attacks have high blood pressure. Sadly, high blood pressure can lead to other health problems including heart attack, stroke and heart failure, kidney disease, vision loss, sexual dysfunction, chest pain and peripheral artery disease. While it's really important to control your blood pressure, the best way to control your blood pressure is to one, know your numbers. So monitor your blood pressure daily to weekly. Number two, work with your doctor. Number three, take your medication. Number four, watch your diet. Remember low salt and low fatty foods is the best. Number five, moderate exercise of walking three to four times a week for a minimum of 30 minutes a week. Thank you so much for tuning in to Nurse Amali. Back to you, Jean. Well, there you had it. She said a handful, man. So I know up to this point, it's all up to me. You know, I can't say I'm going to do something and drop the ball the way I drop. So, you know, that's why I need help from you guys. I need y'all to help me out motivate me because sometimes it just don't happen sometimes and yeah i see that reading and i'll be like okay i get it next time but i might not get a chance to get another reading so that's why it's important for me to take this journey serious man the risk that i'm putting myself at with having readings like those so i know i'm not the only one in this boat man i know there's a lot of men a lot of fathers that's like me and not understanding the risk that we put our children in by not being there because because eventually I'm gonna pass away. If I keep this up, I'm not gonna be here long. So that's why this is called the fight for my life. Because of things like this, I know in order for me to live longer, I have to take things like this serious. So I gotta fight. I gotta continue to fight and I need y'all to help me fight and we are gonna fight together, man. But a blood pressure reading like that is unacceptable. The doctor told me, Nurse Molly told me, <laughs> so I know how important it is so I gotta do what I gotta do and y'all come along with me and let's go on this journey man it's gonna be good days it's gonna be bad days right now it's not a good moment so we gotta do better thank you for your support thank you for tuning in this week as you can see man I did my blood pressure it ain't good I'm a little upset about it but and I'm understanding more and more how important it is the quote oh, oh, alright man it's time for the quote of the day the quote of the day is, real change from within starts with you. So it's important for you to get this change in your mind. Everything else will fall. That's the quote of the day. I just want all of us to take our health serious together. All right? So don't forget to subscribe, turn your notifications on, and let's be around for our children because I know I have to be. That's it. That's it for this week. So make sure you tune in next week at 9 p.m. for another episode of The Fight For My Life. And I want all y'all to come fight with me. Before I leave, I want you to keep this question in mind and just answer this question in your head. Or you can answer this question down below in the comment box. Um, where would your children be without you? Simple as that. Where would your children be without you? Answer that question. All right, man. Daddy? Yes. I'm a father. Daddy? Yes. And a man.